Hey guys and dolls out there on YouTube land, your favorite little cute goofball, Diamond. Uh, so this is my Keto Diary Day 413. I'm so very happy still. Although I have had some snafus and um, some oddness on my reboot. Which for those of you who are just now tuning in, we, I'm doing a reboot with several other ladies just to try to basically reset ourselves and get the scale moving again. Which was going quite well. And honestly, I, I think I understand more about what's going on now. And I hate to kind of say it, but I do think this is my main culprit. Now, yesterday my weight went up. So the day before, something I did affected me. And apparently has been affecting me for months now. So since hubby started keto with me, I've been eating more sides, like vegetables. Broccoli and cheese, zucchini, that sort of thing. Well... <laughs> I think it's the broccoli and cheese or maybe the vegetables in general um, because as soon as I weeded those out stopped eating them my weight started to drop again and then I had one night where I had broccoli and cheese and my weight shot up the next day or, or that day actually because it was up uh, my nighttime weight was higher than my usual nighttime weight so it was definitely something I did that day that affected me I do think it was just a few bites of broccoli and cheese that affected me. Broccoli can be carby, and for most people, vegetables are probably just fine keto-wise, but they don't do me so well. And I have been noticing that my weight was dropping, then I reincorporated broccoli and cheese, and my weight slammed up in some water weight. Now, yesterday, my weight had went up, like I said before this, my weight had went up. I also tried the Quest Bars and the One Bars. I don't know that they affected me. I do know that later in the afternoon I was still in ketosis, so they did knock me out. Um, my water weight did go up another 0 0.8. So let's see, I was my lowest was 206. My weight went to 208 the next day, so that was a two pound increase in water weight. And then my weight went up a further 0 0.8 ounces. So I think. Um, 0 0.8 pounds, sorry. I think that I'm going to have to leave those Quest and One Bars alone. Now, if you're in a situation, like I said, where you're doing the whole um, uh, prepping for natural disasters, the Quest and One Bars, the Protein Bars, are probably great. Um, yeah, there it is. I got a headache now. So, I, I had a Quest Bar a while ago with my hubby. I wanted them to try them, and now I have a headache. And I had one right after I ate the bar yesterday. Again, I'm not being kicked. I did check my ketones. I am in ketosis. I was last night and today. However, I can feel my feet swelling, the tightening uh, sensation. So they're definitely going to add some water weight. I got a feeling by tomorrow morning, I will probably be, be 209 or 209-ish somewhere, uh, a little higher than what I was today. And I'll get into that in a second. So. Those are two things I'm just going to have to avoid for a while for uh, vegetables. and uh, Now, salads don't bother me. I can eat salads. In fact, I've started my journey eating salads like every night with my meals. And it was no big deal, you know. So, I do know that lettuce does not affect me. Boy. Yesterday, one other thing that could have affected me was I did add onions and peppers to some steak. Now, <laughs> my dog wants me to call so he can go out. Um... But I avoided most of the onions and peppers. I added them for flavor. Now, hubby, and he's so, he's, he was eating them by the spoonfuls. But I was pretty much flicking them off the steak and eating the steak <laughs> and the cheese together. Um, but the onion and pepper taste was still there. So, of course, it could have been uh, a part of the culprit um, if vegetables really are affecting me like that. But I do think it's the broccoli and cheese. Going to have to leave that alone. It is carby. And I'm not really a big vegetable person anyway. Sorry, I know y'all hear my grandson back there playing. He's having a great time with this game. Um, no telling what you might hear in this house if you're new to my channel. No telling whatsoever. Um, so yeah, today uh, is Hubby's 10th week on keto, official. He's done so well. Now, um, his weight did jump up a little bit too. And that's interesting because the only thing he's had that he hadn't had over the last few days was broccoli and cheese. So, uh, I may well affect him too. How do you, do, does it affect you guys, like broccoli and cheese, does that affect you or zucchini or anything like that? And it may well be the broccoli and cheese affects me more than the zucchini. I don't know. 
He's so excited over there. Don't y'all remember being that age and just being so excited? <laughs> mm. Okay, so hubby went to the doctor today. They they re, 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 re prescribed his medication so that uh, it is working pretty well for his back. It's not perfect, It's uh, but it's a far cry from the pain he's been in for three years. His resting heart rate did drop down to a normal rate, rate too. It's been up in the 110s, 120s. So for it to drop down to a 78 and it probably will continue to go down is probably because he's not in so much pain as he was before. I can't remember what they told me his, heart, his uh, blood pressure was today, but I think they said 119 over 68 and it was good. Um, but his weight was 157.4. So that's a little bit up from his lowest, which was 156. He's still doing quite well, but I, I just think the broccoli and cheese just is not for us. Maybe it's the brand. I don't know. It's the Green Giant. Is that what that is? I think. So, uh, I don't know. But, again, veggies can be garbage. Wasn't too bad. So, you know, we were all geared up for this hurricane, and luckily it looks like it's, well, luckily for us, it looks like it's turning southward um, and going down in towards South Carolina instead of straight through the middle of North Carolina. Um, but it is a Category 1 now, which does still come with high winds and rains, but it's not a Category 4, thank heavens. Uh, so, more people do have a chance of being okay than they did before. But honestly, folks, if you're in those storm paths, get the hell out of there. I got a cousin that stayed. I'm like, are you out of your mind? But, ain't none of my business, though, is it? <laughs> and, oh, gosh, the folks in Massachusetts last night, if y'all didn't hear... That was horrible. They had uh, one house that had a gas explosion, and it set off like, uh, the one count I heard was 70 more over three towns, but then again, I heard again this morning, 39 or so, and then like, there's 39 injured, one dead. How terrible, and tragic, and horrible. So, you know, if y'all pray, pray for those folks, because they really need it. Um, Okay, so here's something cute for you guys a while ago. My grandson has this little game on his phone. He's trying to get me to play it. I just, I can't see it. I was just trying to get out of having to play the game. <laughs> and he's, okay, I'll get your glasses. Damn it. And I thought Cindy would be so proud. <laughs> uh, Cindy Brown on here who comments on just about all of our videos um, and is right there with us as a support. Uh, every time I do it live, she's like, where are your glasses? Where are your glasses? And I'll take them off, set them down. She's like, Glasses. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, that's why I can't see. So, um, hold on. I don't know if I've ever won on a video. But I don't like the glare in them. But, so, I do, I, the only time I wear my glasses is when I'm doing, um, like, internet stuff, or I'm driving at night, or trying to read a book. So, anyway, I don't really need them that much, but fine print a little ways away, I gotta get up close or wear my glasses. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and get into my Keto Diary. I just uploaded a video um, of some chicken earlier. It looks really good. It tasted really good. And if you missed the dinner we had last night, you've got to see the video I posted it last night. Oh my god, it was so good. I do want to find some thinner cut steak. Something like you would find on a Philly cheesesteak. So I'll have to see what I can't find at Walmart or Baker Shop or something like that. It's just thinner steak. But it was amazing with the slightly thicker stuff. I just want it to be like almost roast beef thin, Arby's roast beef thin. So, you know, if I can find that, that'd be great. Keto Diary, 413, September 14th, 2018. Yesterday morning, I took my grandbaby to Burger King where he talked me into getting him a chicken nugget kids meal and a cheeseburger. He ate none of it. Until we got home. Then he ate every last bite. So I was like, okay, well, we're good. <laughs> but I had a bacon king with no bun. And then, again, last night we had the Philly cheesesteak with a side salad and ranch. Uh, pork skins and dietary Dr. Pepper. And, of course, I uploaded it with the video yesterday. Me and my grandson tried the Quest Bar. One of the Quest Bars and one of the One Bars. Um, they are okay. And they'll do it in a pinch. Uh, Walmart, you know, you get them for $1.99. We went over to Sheets a while ago, which is when me and my husband got the, the Quest Bar a while ago. I feel my feet swelling as I'm talking. Um, but, uh, they were 3 
I was like, no. And he's like, no, get it here because I'm not going to Walmart. Well, okay, fine. But, yeah, three sixty nine. dollars you get a one ninety nine Walmart. And plus, they're cheaper if you buy them by the box. But, again, it's not something I intend to buy for myself. I will probably end up getting my grandson a box to, to have once in a while. Oh, my God. Y'all, you see that. The girls were thirsty. And now they're sticky. <laughs> not really. Um... Okay, so my calories yesterday were 1,750. Uh, from fat, 120 grams. From protein, 132 grams. From carbs, 16 net grams. Again, when I try something like the Net and Quest bars, I count net carbs, even though 99% of the time I count total carbs. It's only when I'm up to no good that I count the net carbs, because I know it's wrong. I'm still doing it anyway. I know it's wrong, and I know it's stupid, but I do it anyway. <sighs> if I had any sense at all, I do it. I know y'all hear my grandson having a great time back there. How could you not? <laughs> um, but I did overeat my uh, protein by 59 grams yesterday. 59 grams, if you didn't hear me. <coughs> and yesterday, my protein was also higher. In general, I have about 74, 75 grams. So I was quite a bit up yesterday, quite a bit up day four. Um, blood pressure 138 over 80, resting heartbeat 75, uh, sleep 6 hours, vitamins taken, active 208 yesterday, at late night, last night before I went to bed I was 211.8, the lowest I've seen at night is 208, so uh, today I was 208.8, <sighs> it's water, I know it's water, and it'll go away. Um, Perhaps I shouldn't have tried the Quest Bars, but the water weight did start piling on the day before. Um, so I do think it's the broccoli again. I'll figure it out. But uh, keto is such a fickle thing. It has to be just right for your body. Some of you folks can eat broccoli all day long and have no trouble. Some of you can eat circulose all day long and have no trouble. But my body is my body and it's got its own personality. What? You hungry? What you want? Um, I want to show you these. Will you show me in a minute? Anyway, my um, I'm up 0 0.8 pounds from yesterday. 2.8 pounds from my lowest. Lost overall to date is 103 at the moment. Uh, ketones were 0 0.6. I'm going to get out here before he breaks my refrigerator. Much love to you. Check out the video. Oh, Why do you sit in the chair behind me? I love you too, but are you comfortable? Yep. Yep. Guess he's comfortable. You're not, are you? He's like sitting on my butt. Or part of my butt. <laughs> I don't want to be part of that butt now. For a lot much longer. Hey, look up. Say hi. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, guys and dolls, that concludes yet another probably long-winded video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out all my other great videos. I don't know what I'm going to post here, so check back every day. Much love to you, and don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com. Bye, y'all.